Hey there, welcome back fellow Clashers, or if it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by to experience with me the Technicolor Troop Rainbow that is Troop Vomit. Now, what I mean by Troop Vomit is this act of dumping all of your troops out onto the battlefield in pretty much one spot, and it kind of looks like, well, you poured them out or you puked them out onto the screen, and I know it's kind of a gross analogy, but you'll see the point as we get into some of these replays, starting with our own glider from Lost Phoenix, experiencing it from another Legend League player, no less, and you'll see what I'm talking about right here, as it's just one opening, one path to enter into this base, and here it comes, the troop vomit. The golems are spread out a little bit, but I'm still calling this one troop vomit because everybody is going in and the wizards that are placed towards the outside are unprotected because the golems funneled in through the one solitary opening and everybody working their way in now and that is a big problem because splash damage is gonna get you, the rhythm is gonna get you, the bombs are gonna get you, anything like that is going to cost you severely when you have a bunch of units that are stacked up on top of each other. They have made it in, they are approaching the town hall, but it is bad news for the wizards, for the witches, and for the heroes as they finally get in there and now the golems getting separated from the wizards. The wizards are down, the town hall is safe, and it's right about here where this attacker has to know he is in deep trouble and he's just hoping to try to grab 50%. The Archer Queen hits her ability. She will get the Eagle Artillery down, which is nice. It's a little bonus. Maybe it'll help those last units survive off to the right. But once again, like we've seen in recent episodes, when the Grand Warden is out by himself, he does not do very well. He plays better with others and he is about to go down quickly. He is going to be asleep and now that leaves just a few unprotected structures on the top right of this village. But that's it. There's no way to get to 50%. This attacker has very few units left and a desperate try, a desperate attempt with those last archers, but it's just not going to happen and Roby from White Soldiers is going to have to walk away after vomiting his troops on the screen with 10 fewer trophies. So we'll move on and here we've got another defense from a Lost Phoenix member. This is Arch of Lost Phoenix and check it out, just the one jump spell at the bottom. This attacker deciding not to use the other two. He's got two more jump spells in pocket, but no. Instead, he's going to drop all of his units at this one opening. And here they come. The golems again, a little bit spread out, but not much. A few wizards, again, they're all going to kind of bunch up. Nice Tesla right there. But the rest of the troops, yes, sure enough, here they come. Troop vomit at the bottom of the screen. The clan castle, the heroes, the wizards, the witches, the archers, all in the exact same spot. Everybody moving forward through the one jump spell. And once again, we're going to see that phenomenon of the golems getting separated from the rest of the units. Off to the left go the wizards, some of the witches. They're going down. The Grand Warden's ability is not going to be enough to save them. As you can see, far left, no golems over there. The golems have all pathed off to the right. And that is going to cost those wizards, those witches, and the Archer Queen a lot of health as she has become separated from everyone else, including the Grand Warden, who she suspiciously seems to like to hang out with, but that's for another episode. So the Archer Queen on the left going to be forced to use her ability, and again, all by herself, even with a free spell, she has absolutely no chance of getting that Town Hall. Okay, so she had a chance, but it didn't happen. Too many defenses firing on her. She is gone. Last units again on the right-hand side, and again, the Lava Hound from the Clan Castle doing work patrolling around, helping to get rid of the last attacking units and the defending Barbarian King as well. And here we are, Amir, stuck at under 40% damage. Again, the Grand Warden, one of the last units to go down. And hey, I have to tell you, I admit I'm guilty of troop vomiting from time to time as well. The nature of a go wee, -wee attack does kind of encourage players to drop those witches in a big group. And sometimes it just doesn't work out, especially now that so many people are switching back to multi-target Infernos. And Amir is going to wrap up this loss, 14 trophies off to Arch from Lost Phoenix. But Panther Chick, she's gonna get in on the action as well in this earthquake start to this attack. Again, you've got a Legend League player attacking and he is going to, yes, troop vomit his troops, so a we'll watch as one jump spell goes down and here they all come. Troop vomit all over the screen as they move in all through that same solitary opening. And again, with wizards being spread out further than the golems, they're going to go down quickly. They're going to get separated from those golems and you've got to get them to work hand in hand. Again, you've got to fear splash damage. There's a giant bomb, takes out a bunch of troops as well. So the idea of spreading those golems out, protecting more of the other high DPS units. And then here you've got some amazing heroic minions. Watch these minions go to work. 
Now they are frozen for a little bit, that's okay, they're resting up. We go take a look at the Archer Queen, she's wandered way off towards the top of the village, that is a bad sign. In the meantime, the minions have thawed out and gone to raining down, I don't know what, poisonous dark elixir or whatever that they spew uh, out at these other units, but there goes the Barbarian King. Here goes the Grand Warden, and uh, they make quick work of the Grand Warden and all of the other troops on their way to hunt down the archers up there, the witches, and of course that Archer Queen has just fallen to the Eagle Artillery, and sure enough, it's going to be these minions that finish off this attack with a little help from the Eagle Artillery once again, and troop vomiting for this player, whose name is uh, right there, doesn't work out, and Panther Chick is going to collect 23 trophies. So the troop vomiting is real, you've got to spread those golems out to try to avoid that splash damage being focused on an entire group, especially now with the buffed Eagle Artillery. Let me know what you guys think, comment down below, subscribe for daily Clash of Clans content, hit that thumbs up button before you leave, watch me live stream on Camp Court, all of these things are optional of course. But seriously, thank you again for your time and I hope that you come back tomorrow for more full attacks. Galizon, troop vomit, eh? That's what I need to do every time I see one of your videos. <laughs>